Hey, welcome to the uh, channel. If you're first time here, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I've been putting, been playing Dark and Night for a while. Been putting up these uh, guide videos. So today's guide video is farming. So we're gonna go through how to farm. I've already made some. Uh, you, there are three types of plots: so small, medium, large. Uh, the small. <sighs> Different plants can be planted in different plots. I don't know exactly what all that is, or like I don't have which which plant can be, uh, which seeds can be planted in which plot, or all that. But mainly, I just try to use the big one. The only, we have, I'll, you'll see my setup here in a minute. Uh, right now, I'm just gathering some stone. So to make a plot, you need excuse me, straw, wood, twine, and stone. If you just started to play, this is actually a really good time. It was oh, a bunch of freaking hyenas. So the develop the developers decided last week to go ahead and make so on the weekends there was on the official servers it was times two gathering, and the developers decided to go ahead and make that permanent, which is amazing. Like, that was a really good call on their part. Uh, it makes the game a lot easier. It's not... I think it makes the game a lot better. Like, there will still have to do a, a fair amount of gathering. Uh, it just it won't be as grindy as it was before. Like, uh, Dark and Light Stone were a pain in the butt to, uh, to grind out. It was just... It was pretty ridiculous, especially if you're trying trying to make a big, uh, a big base. It was almost impossible. Let's see how many I have going here. All right, four. Oh, <coughs> I want six before I go back. All right. So right now, what I have done to just kind of make it easier on us and on myself, uh, you have your Ingrams over here, which are like your blueprints. Uh, you can type in, type in the search bar. I, you can do this too. I never do this. I always just type in the search bar. But you just put up plots. You have a small, medium, large. What I like to do is I like to drag. If I'm going to make something or I'm trying to make like a building or something. So I have foundation, walls, uh, ceiling. I'll type it in. Wall. And then I'll drag it to my bar. So that while I'm gathering, when it's green, it means I can make it. When it turns red, it means I don't have enough materials. And I can hold down on it, on that button, and it will show me uh, what I need. Like, it'll be in green, the things I have, as you can see in the screen. It'll be red and things that I uh, don't have. So let's make sure we have six plots. Yeah, we got six plots. Where's my bird? There's my bird. All right, now we're going to run back home. To our base. Some of these. Oh, somebody else's building's getting attacked. Alright. Is that somebody doing it or is that an animal? This base has been abandoned for a while. I'm pretty sure this guy didn't play anymore. Oh, it's just an animal. If it was a person, I might be like, why are you doing that? But anyway. Oh, yeah. And to take them off the bar, so the you put them on there, you just left click and drag off left click and drag off that way because if you're not doing it anymore then you don't need it on your bar all right so you see our base i helped gather for it but my brother did most of this or actually my brother did all the construction but uh I, I like to feel like I did some part in gathering. All right, so this is my farming setup. So what you need is you need a, a surface. You can put... Um, yes, you can put plots straight on the ground. They don't have to be on a foundation. It's just we built on this little island, so we need to do it. So what you need for, for uh, farming is you need a plot... You need seed, you need fertilizer, and you need water. Just like real plants. Because we can't control the sun. 
Okay, so what I the setup that I have going here is you can see down there in the water is you have to have an intake pipe. You have to have the intake pipe. Uh, you can place the intake pipe near the water. So let's 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 make an intake pipe because this is a little bit wonky. So I want to show you how to do this because sometimes you can just put it. Let's fly back out, or is this? What's this look like over here? No, let's fly back to the to the. I know this is gonna waste a little bit of time. This is important. This is one of the harder parts uh, of getting started, and and it's just kind of annoying. But let's go fly back over to the over here. Uh, we can yeah. Let's just go to the land. This must be all be building it up the land. And my lighting's a little bit different. I decided uh, I was gonna wait till tomorrow to do this video, but just go ahead and decided to do it tonight. Whoa, what happened to our bridge? No, that is actual, so this has very little health. This will be another video, but the framework is super easy to make. Uh, so, because the manor pieces are so hard to make. All right, back to farming. So you can see, barely. That it's blue, that means I can place it. I want to make sure that I'm placing it in the water. And then it just kind of hangs there. So you can, you make your pipe network. So that vertical, horizontal goes across. Let's do horizontal or when do it. Let's do one of these. Kind of show you what these things are. So we'll do this first. Then we'll put that out. Uh, again, you can see I put, I'm just putting it on my bar to make it easier. I can do it from my inventory if I wanted to. So like that. Second thing, you have to have the... Oh crap, what is that called? The outflow, the spout. You need a spout to go a, a near your plot. Now this isn't an exact... I'm sure I'm, there probably is an exact science to it. But so far, I, I don't know what the distance is. So, yeah, actually, let's just do it. Let's just do it right here. Let's just wait. I mean, I have time, I can make more. So when you make sure that your plots are near your water source, they didn't, it doesn't have to be directly, like the animation, it doesn't have to be directly pouring on it. it. Just has to be in this area. Actually, I could probably put four here and they would all, all be uh, fed off of this one. So you see how it, in the center it says water, it says irrigated. Uh, not fertilized and not seeded. I don't think there's any grass around here. Uh, not really. So the way you get seeds is you use your sword or you can use a scythe and you can hit this bushes. So yeah, I got carrot seed there. I got a bunch of seeds. You're gonna wanna look up, you should be able to find on the wiki which each seed does. So right now uh, the I'm growing cores, so you can grow uh, food, you can grow cooking herbs, or really just food to support your cooking and crafting. I'm growing food to make feed, to make taming feed, and I'm growing cores, so the, the elemental cores that are used for a lot of crafting, and, and they're very important to the game. Uh, and some of them are hard to get, so water cores, which is why I'm doing this right now. Right now I'm growing air cores, and I'm growing uh, earth cores, which are kind of, they're, to our knowledge, they're difficult to get in game without going to Gaia, uh, which is the other planet. So it's, it's, they're more difficult to get. They're super easy to get farming. So I got six, I can have 10 plots going. So four, I have one fire plot, I think four and four. And I want to grow water because we're kind of struggling to get water, I went to try to farm some, and it was kind of, it was super lame. Like, it took a long time. Now with the two times, I might try again today, actually, with the with the two times uh, gathering rate. And maybe it will be better to just farm, or to just farm water cores. But anyway, I'm, I'm going to try to make some. Or actually, I'm going to grow some. And if I, I decide to grow something else, not a big deal. I'll just have more plots to do it. But, like, I always... So, all right, so you would open it. This is important. If you press your your 
activate key so default is is e i change it to d but your default if if you press e on this you will reset the plot so that's super annoying and you need to know if you press d on a plot it will clear the plot and that takes hours no it's not active but you when you when you have it irrigated you have it fertilized and you put the seed in it that you press r you'll press r to open it and then you'll put the seed in it you'll put the fertilizer in it which will go with fertilizer in a minute oh man it's already 11 minutes all right yeah water fertilizer let's destroy this because i don't leave my crap just hanging around just wanted to just show you how to place an intake pipe now sometimes the re one of the reasons i did this is because sometimes it's wonky sometimes it doesn't work right and you'll have to put down especially these piping the horizontal piping sometimes you will need to uh, put down a foundation and just use a, just a straw foundation or whatever is easiest for you at the time just uh just put down a foundation and then you can attach the pipe to the foundation our, my first my first uh, farming setup was up in the mountain where I didn't have any water access. So I used a bunch of water reservoirs and that, that worked sometimes every time they reset the server. So I had like a, home, a homeostasis where it worked uh, and I had like I had like 10 of these, 15 of these and it would keep them full most of the time. Uh, but anytime there was a server reset, it would wipe it all out. And, and then the last two times it did it, actually for like the last probably two weeks, when it wiped it, I couldn't get it back. I couldn't get homeostasis back. I couldn't get it to everything to work the way that it should. Okay. So you're going to need to make a compost bin. Uh, I think, I'm pretty sure there's a farming quest that will walk you through this too. Uh, but what you do, see, I'm, I'm farming a crap. I'm making a crap ton of fertilizer. First one you do is a small fertilizer. You need to charcoal from burning wood, uh, grass from using your sword on bushes and grass. Uh, the, but where I do that is I go to the river, where there's a river or a creek, and right around, along the creek, as long as there's no rocks. Like sometimes there's a bunch of rocks next to the creek, and then there won't be as much grass. But I've got a couple of spots that I go to that don't have very little or no rocks and just tons. And, like I got 3,000 grass in just a few minutes uh, farming. It takes five of those to make the next one, which you will need five of the small plot, small fertilizer and rotten meat. So don't throw out your rotten meat and don't sell it all to the vendor. Uh, if you find that you don't have enough rotten meat like I did earlier, I didn't have enough. So what I did was I uh, took meat like this. You hold shift and left click and it halves the stack. And I just halved it all the way down until there was just one. So you see they spoil in eight minutes. Well, it spoils in, ten, in, in eight minutes for a 10 stack, but it'll only spoil one at a time. So what you wanna do is you wanna make it all stacks of one so that they all spoil at the same time. So you only have to wait the 10 minutes and again this is not like you're gonna be doing other things while this happens and it's a little tedious it takes some time and there might be a better way of doing this that I don't know but for now this is what I do and it's not that bad especially if I'm like watching TV or something which I normally do whenever I'm farming and I was actually doing just before I made this video okay last that last the, the large not the last second to last You'll need five of these bag, five of the medium bags to make a large bag, plus magic shards. Uh, at first, you will have a level one drain drain spell uh, that sucks, and you'll have to like go up and point it at trees to get the, the shards. That really sucks. Buy a level two. The vendor, check out my I think it was the second video uh, guide video where we talked uh, about vendors. Keep an eye out for the drain two vendor. Ask in chat if anyone will make them make you one. They're easy to make. Uh, they're easy to maintain. They only take one magic essence if you completely deplete it or break it. It only takes one magic essence to replace, replenish it, and it is amazing. You equip it to your staff. Here, let's just let's do it for a second. 
So I equip it to my staff, and then I just left click, and it AOEs. I guess I won't do it here because I'm. This is my base. But if I was standing in a group of trees, like I don't do it if unless I'll find a group of five trees, stand in the middle, and it will absorb the shards from all of them. You'll get twine and all other crap too, but you will get massive tons of shards. It's the best way to do it. I would I would really ask in chat uh, if someone will make it to you. And if you're on a live server, then hopefully, I mean people will. Most people will. Some people will. If you're on my server, I'll make it. Okay, so last last but not least, because it's the greatest. Each one of these, so this is like a couple of hours. This is a day. This is like two days worth of fertilizer. This is a is two weeks. This fertilizer, the essence of life, will work, and you all it'll last two weeks in a plot. You also need this to make some uh, some different things with like treants and. Uh, there's a magic spell head that's not really worth it. But these are definitely worth it to make. They take five big bags and five earth cores. So it, it will help you to plant. So right now I have I hit R. I didn't hit. So I'm growing terraflowers. Terraflower root. I'm growing thundergrass seeds for air cores so for earth cores so you're gonna want to make a couple plots maybe four or four plots I got five here going uh, for earth cores because I use them I'll use the earth cores to make my fertilizer which I yeah I don't have to farm them like I don't have to go kill mobs to get them I just uh, farm them here air on my air cores this is a fire core with fire blossom seeds and so this is a middling this is one that got reset earlier because it ran out of fertilizer so if it runs out of fertilizer it will reset down to middling stage so you have seeded then you have middling and then you have the full fruiting it takes several hours for this and again if you're on a live server like it will happen like you don't have to stand there and watch it or whatever you just set it and set it and forget it all right we're also, my brother put a bunch of small plots out here because we're growing, we're uh, farming for mythical feed. So we just planted seeds, uh, shrub seeds here to get the cooking herb, which I use to cook also for my, uh, for lots of, several different rest, cooking recipes, specifically for the meat. The, uh, oh, I don't have any on me. The fine, uh, what is it? The steak. I know this is a video, so I'm long. Apologize. Crispy steak. This is the best food in the game. It replenishes uh, 70 of your health, or not of your health, of your food. So it it will behoove you to make this. This is actually what I'm making now, because you have to make cooked meat. <coughs> I'll do a different cooking video because we're already long on this one. God, we're on 20 minutes. Okay. I'm. I'm. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put nine plots here. I'm going to put my, my plots on this side. And then I might have to extend this water. Actually, let's just do it. I don't think I'm going to actually have to extend the water. Again, I can put it on my bar. Um, I'm out of space. I might be out of space. Let's see. Yeah. So it says it's irrigated. I don't have to make any more irrigation. But I think I'm out of space. Oop, I saw a little bit blue there. There it is. I don't know if I'm going to be able to place all of these, though. Now it's going to look crazy. Why I'm planting this is I want to do light. Not light blossom. Uh, my seed box. Oh, what am I going to put in it? So dark seeds to grow dark cores. So you have light blossoms to do light cores. I want to grow snow. The snow lotus for the. Yeah, that's what I want. So I need this for actually. You should only plant. I don't know. You plant one. I usually just plant like a stack because I'm not hurting for seeds. 
All right, so now it says irrigated, seeded, not fertilized. So I'm going to go with my little compost. I'm not going to... There's a little trick to this, too. So you see, I have one of these. Actually, I'm going to take that. So you can see the durability over here on the right. That goes down over time. So you can go... I'm pretty sure I have a plot with... So you see, it's we start at 18 or 180,000, we're down to 143,000. You can make that go down to like a one. As long as there's still one left in it, you can pull that out and put it over here and make a, a, a life essence with it, and it'll be a full life, life essence. So you can kind of cheese that a little bit if you care. I mean, I did at first, but now I don't. I don't bother with it anymore. But for the first couple of weeks when I was kind of struggling to get going, oh yeah, I cheesed the crap out of that. All right. Oh, I was getting a furlough. Oh, I have one. Sorry. Getting sidetracked. It's late. And voila. So now I have snow lotus, which will be water cores uh, growing. Now it'll be seedling for a long time, several hours, then a middling, and then it'll fruit. And as long as I keep it fertilized, and I keep it, which again, you see it there, it says for 14 days. As long as I keep it fertilized and irrigated, then it will continue to produce cores and the, the snow lotus. There's another thing. I don't know if this is true or not. So I, I don't know exactly what this is about. When I very first did this and I had my compost bin next to my plots, it didn't do it this time. But there was some weird bug where it extended all of the fertilizer that was near the compost bin. I don't know. It's not doing it now. Whenever I was over on land, it absolutely did do that. The two plots that were closest to the compost bins had almost three times as much length on their fertilizer. As you can see, this has a life essence in a small plot, and it says it'll be good for 174 days. So the fertilizer is different. different the, they last differently depending on uh, which size plot they're in, which I just use large, large plots. All right. 22 minutes. That's a long video. I hope you uh, learned what you needed to learn. If you didn't, ask some questions down in the comments, and I'll uh, get back to you. Thanks.